Welcome back, welcome back. And now we're on to the principles of website design. Now for this one, it's gonna be a very, very short video. So please like and subscribe so we can keep the channel growing. All we're gonna do for this one is actually use this one table or this one section here to work out each of these terms. Now, you don't have to go through every single one of them, but I do recommend doing as many as you can because these are the typical principles of web design. If you prefer to Google principles of website design and use the principles that you found, it's gonna be exactly the same process. So it doesn't matter which list you use, try and follow if it makes sense to you, if you've spoken to your teacher about it, if it makes sense to follow these rules, right? So the first thing we're gonna have as usual is define each of the above terms. So whatever terms you've decided to use. So it might be that you found five, seven or 10 on Google and you wanna use those, define each of them and then speak about each of them independently. So usability, what does the term usability mean? I've Googled that here. It says usability is the ease of use of a website or application. It is an indicator showing whether or not a website is effective, easy to navigate and efficient from the user's point of view. So as a user, right, when you look at a website, is it easy, is it intuitive? Do you have to learn a completely new way of doing things to move around the website, to, to search for stuff? Or is it like, oh yeah, I've seen this before, this makes sense. Even, even if you might not have seen that exact thing before, does it make sense? Right? Does the search bar have blank text in there and is there a search icon next to it versus the search bar having an example of a search thing and then having, instead of having a search icon, it has the actual search text. That's what it means, okay? Now, after you've figured out what usability is, then you ask yourself, does this website have good usability features? If yes, what are they? So I've mentioned the one for Amazon already. Whatever website you're using, look at what are usability features, right? So maybe when you see this, so what are... Uh, are some usability features, right? You maybe get a list of, let's say, three, four, five, however many you think is relevant. And then, does my website have item one? Yes. If so, how? Does my website have item two? Maybe no. Does my website have item three? So on and so forth. And we're going to do that for each one of these, okay? So usability is one, white space. I think white space was probably mentioned prior. And white space is simply the gap. So let's go back to Amazon. White space is actually the gaps between things. So it might not be white exactly, but it's just the gaps between things that, that clearly distinguish or differentiate or shows you where one thing starts and one thing stops. Uh, after white space, we have site layout. That's typically the layout of the website. Is it laid out logically? Can I see the stuff I need to see quickly? Can I get the stuff I need to get to quickly? Uh, next, we have accessibility. Accessibility features are slightly different. So on Amazon, is there a way for me to make this very contrasty so someone who has uh, issues with their site would be able to read the text? Um, do these sections have a mouse over button? So when I press tab on my keyboard, as you can see, different things being highlighted. See that I press tab again, this has been highlighted. Does it actually read the text that's on there? For this section, go and find your own principles of website design or pick out some from this list that have not been repeated anywhere else and use that. You're going to define it and you're obviously going to reference it as well. And then you're going to ask yourself the question, does your website have this thing? And does your website use this thing properly? For example, typography is a really nice one because some websites, they have random text, random different types of text everywhere. Amazon has been relatively consistent. They have a white text, um, let's just say this is Arial or Times New Roman. I don't know what it is, but let's just say it is. And on every page you go onto Amazon, it's going to have more or less the same type of text. Now, different categories, different sections have different text, but that stays consistent as well. Because as you can see here, pick up from where you left off, the text for keep uh, shopping for is more or less the same, and that's the same as well. So that's what you're going to do for this section. Look at each of these terms again, define them, define them, reference them, please make sure you reference them and then say, does my website have this feature and is it being used in a sensible way? That's all that this is going to be about.